Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. It's Sunday night, it's about 5 to 11 and uh, had a bit of a heavy weekend because the girlfriend was over in Frankfurt so I had the apartment to myself so as you may have seen we had a couple of beer hangouts and I've drank a, a considerable amount of beer but I thought on a Sunday I'm going to detox a little I'm probably going to feel worse for her and I'm going to get some stuff around the apartment done so yeah, fast forward to about 7 or 8 o'clock and I decide, you know what would be a really good idea right now is to clean the bathroom and clean the kitchen. So I did that and then I thought, you know what, I'm in the mood for a drink. So I picked up a beer that I picked up at Beretta and I thought I'm going to review it. And I started to review it. And then this happened, and there is an absolutely fantastic crown, so I'll hopefully be keeping both of those. Yep, another Teku glass bites the dust. Died in pretty much ex the exact same way that the one that came before it did, because of that stupid fucking label sign that I've made which is useless, it doesn't look good, it's too small to be used as a backdrop properly, and yeah, it's killed another glass, or should I say I have, because I'm a stupid idiot. So, it is, yeah, it's coming up to 11 o'clock, I've just been frantically sweeping up, uh, picking up all the pieces, making sure that the, the lovely little kitty didn't trod all over this field of prickly shards he was teetering on the edge he was ah uh, i don't know what goes through his mind it's clearly not a good idea to be standing around these sharp pieces of glass but he's a cat he doesn't know any better so yeah i'm definitely in the mood for a beer now so we're going over to the sombroi brewery here in Germany. These guys are based in uh, Meerskofen, where I'm not too sure where that is, but as always, links are down below. Heard a lot about these guys, but uh, never really seen their beers around. And Beretta has recently started stocking their beers, and you can pick up a lot of the range for less than two euros. Um, and I picked up an Imperial Stout as well, which I'll be probably tucking into uh, a little bit later. But uh, yeah, these guys are going to be at the Regensburg Craft Beer Festival this year. And yeah, I'm guessing that's why they've got a lot of their stock. So uh, yeah, very excited for this festival. Uh, 24th to the 26th of May. If you're in Germany, if you're in Bavaria, take a train ride, have a day trip, come to Regensburg and join in at the Craft Beer Festival. But um, yeah, so Zombroi, and this is the Macumba which is an IPA clocking in at 5.2%. Best before date is 1st of uh, September 2017. And yeah, very striking, hellish looking artwork there. Seems to be hand drawn as well, which I'm a big fan of. I do love their logo and then you get that again on the crown. So should hopefully be able to get these two for the collection. So going to be using uh, my tiny Teku that I got from Beer Deluxe. Still don't know how big that glass is. I should probably look. But I don't know if you saw it, but it's got nice smoke coming off this one. Went for it all in so I can get my nose in. And uh, yeah, beer in a glass. That is an absolutely lovely burnt orange colour. Slight amber tones in there. Nice clarity. Carbonation isn't too aggressive, but it's going up to that just to about two fingers worth of a slightly off-white head. Poured it a little bit stupidly, so hopefully I can get a good aroma from it. But um, yeah, it looks like a, a nice IPA. A little bit more on the malty side. I'm not sure if the, they are taking influence from a British IPA or something like a, a West Coast IPA, which is very popular here in Germany. Probably very popular throughout the craft beer landscape. But um, yeah, it certainly looks the part. Let's see what we get on the aroma. And it's got that like slightly floral edge to it. There's a slight piney tone in there as well. 
gentle sort of caramel malt character coming through on the back end. Slightly a dish soap, if that makes sense. But not too bad. Uh, we were doing a live review of uh, Stone's IPA from Berlin, uh, from Stone Berlin, and it's sort of got that similar vibe to it. Slightly piney, a little bit more sweeter than you would expect it to be. Hop is there, but it's not in your face. But yeah, it smells very well balanced, and if I was to go off the nose alone, I'd say this is more of like a West Coast IPA. Anyway, I need to get this devoured. Cheers, guys. And that's not a bad IPA. Is it going to set the world alight? No, not really. Does it have those West Coast piney sort of tones in there? It does, but I'm definitely getting a lot of a multi character as well, which does harken back to what I would consider like a, a classic British IPA. Bitterness is quite strong, especially on the back end. And yeah, I'm getting that slight dish soap sort of flavour. A tiny bit of grapefruit. Lots of pine actually now. Like a really dank sort of pine tone. Not like dank as what we are all buzzing about these like New England IPAs, that sort of thing. But like just a real like resiny, residually dankness. And it mixes really nicely with that multi body but it's not overly multi beers maybe a little bit lighter than i would like it to be but it's not a watery ipa by any means the carbonation is nice and gentle you do get sort of like a, a slight lining around your mouth after you've taken a sip but yeah i, I like that that bitterness on the back end Little sherbetty tones in there as well. It's not in your face fruity. It's more of a like a mature fruit character. But yeah, definitely getting a grapefruit, like pure grapefruit juice sort of flavour, like a really bitter where they've not added anything to it, no sweetener or anything like that. It's that sort of grapefruit character. I think it's not bad. It's a serviceable West Coast come british style ipa for my palate could do with a little bit more body if i'm being honest hop character not too in your face but not too laid back and yeah it's it's a, an enjoyable beer for sure and um i'm gonna give the macumba from sombroy a very solid seven out of ten it's one that i would probably drink again but i would um, probably go for maybe some other German brewed IPAs before I would try this one again. So yeah, not bad. But I'm getting like some sort of like sweet cakey biscuity tones now as well. Yeah, not a bad IPA, seven out of ten. If you've had this one as always let me know your thoughts, opinions. Um, I'm gonna put all their links down below. I'm gonna put Beretta's links down below as well as the Regensburg Craft Beer Festival information so you can check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, if any of my friends have reviewed any of these, then I'm going to put their links down below. Also, check out Zombroy and um, let's all take a moment to uh, remember the good times that were had with uh, the Teku glass. See you guys later.